Hey guys, welcome back to Permasan Invitational. This is round four still, and this is lower bracket content, which of course is a elimination match. The loser will be out. Here we have Podris and Finchinator. Like I said in my previous set with Podris, I really don't know this dude very well. Uh, out of the 32 guys in the tour, he's probably the one that I know the least. So I really don't have too, too much to say about him one way or another, but I can tell by the way the other players interact with him that he's well-liked and well-respected. I'd like to get to know him a little bit better. Finch, on the other hand, I have known for a very long time, and as we all know, he sucks. So he is going to lose. Uh, we are starting here in DPP. And we'll see how that goes. Here is game one in the best of three. Podris on the bottom, Finch on the top, and the... Ooh. This is actually a really nice turn one for Podris. It is an over-prediction U-turn for Finch. Podris knew that that was going to happen, and he stayed in, and he actually went for Stealth Rock, even though obviously Earthquake with a 4x weakness would have super-duper killed the Heatran. So great play from Podris, and he's also going to get a Spore off with his Loom on the incoming Lati for Finch. Finch is going to show Swampert, and the Heatran reappears. Obviously, Heatran does not like this matchup and gets out of the way. Here's the Loom, and Finch doubles back to Flygon here. Heatran comes in again, and Dragonclaw 32%. Heatran is safe other than a crit. And speak of the devil, there is a crit. That is lucky for Finch. The Heatran would have survived that always without the crit. And Heatran is going to go down, so Finch catches a break and gets the early 6-5 advantage here. Draco Meteor does a ton on meta, but does not kill. Trick is going to exchange Scarf for Scarf, which obviously doesn't get anyone anywhere unless one of them had a special Scarf. And there is the Iron Head hitting the Flygon. Magnazone comes in. Rachi now in big trouble, unless it is not locked here. But it is locked on Iron Head, and it is just a formality at this point. It is absolutely going to die. Those Iron Heads doing 9 and 10% are not going to come even close to popping subs. That one obviously doesn't pop it either. There is Thunderbolt. It's going to be another sub turn coming up to keep the Magna Zone behind one. There's no reason not to do that if you're Finch. The following Iron Head will not pop the sub even with a crit, which it does not get. And there is the Thunderbolt knockout to extend Finch's lead to 6-4. to four. Titar coming in at this point. Thunderbolt, eh, 32%, not bad. Fire Blast, obviously, is going to pop the sub. The critical hit there does not matter. Thunderbolt comes down again, and Super Power will get Pogis on the board, bringing us to a 5-4 to four situation, obviously still favoring Finch. Make that a 5-3 to three situation, as the Scarf Flygon with his U-turn gets a kill and now metagross is going to outspeed and kill the lati getting insane value via explosion taking out the 95 percent lati so podris at this point goes to his previously unrevealed gyra it is his only hope he dragon dances up eats an outrage to do so but he's going to be faster now and there's waterfall for the kill brings us to a three to two situation gyra the only way that he can win he's going to need a crit or a flinch here and he does not get either. There is the Crunch Knockout, so only the Breloom remains for Pogis. Goes for the Seed Bomb for the Knockout on the Titar. And obviously Swampert won't survive that either, so it only comes down to Breloom and Lati here. Sleep Talk Trick. Oh, jeez, that is devastating. He, he tricks him Choice Specs. On the substitute turn, which is actually going to lock Pogis on substitute. He can't do anything other than substitute for the rest of the match. And he's just going to concede on the spot. That was a weird ending, but it's going to be good enough. Uh, depending on the sets, the Breloom did have a shot to sweep here, but that was a clutch sleep talk trick to lock him on sub. What a weird thing. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Granted, I don't watch too, too much DPP, but that was a weird thing that I do not see every day, and that was a cool and memorable ending to this game. But Finch is going to win, and it's going to send us to a second game. As you guys may recall, the loser of any given game one gets to pick game two, and Podris has opted to send us to Gen 3. So, you guys just watched Game 1, you don't need a recap, we'll just go straight to Game 2 here. It is Pogis again on the bottom and Finch on the top. Here is their Gen 3 game. 
And it is the two most common leads in the tier, Tyranitar and Zapdos, respectively. And an amazing turn one for Finch. He finds the perfect Thunderbolt with both a crit and a power on the T-Tower. Now, yes, the Rock Slide does happen, but great, great start for Finch. That's as good of a Thunderbolt as you could have hoped for. Now, he goes Hidden Power here. It's going to be not very effective against Celebi. So we now know that it is HP Grass as opposed to HP Ice. Thunderbolt here, meh, 19%. There's Calm Mine. Finch in every way is representing a Dugtrio here, which is why he was content to stay in against the T-Tower with the lead Zapdos, because he can just revenge kill it with the Duggy. But he's going to be P2 Blissey here instead. Now that the Toxic Clock is going on the Celebi, there's no way that it's going to beat the Bliss, but it could Baton pass out, and that's exactly what it does. Two Calm Mind boosts are being passed to the Swampert here. It is not an Endeavor Pert or anything like that. We see by the Seismic Toss that it is a bulky Pert. And here is another Seismic Toss as the Hydro Pump misses. Unlucky, but it wouldn't have done too, too much there for Pogis. He does get a 37% Earthquake off. Not bad. Seismic Toss comes down. Does have a chance to kill the Blissey here with another Earthquake. But instead, he's going to miss Hydro Pump for the second time. And Blissey's going to get Soft Boiled off. Earthquake again, 41%, and there is Seismic Toss. Swampert will live another one, but he kind of needs to catch a break here. He's going to go Focus Punch, hoping that there's going to be a Soft Boil turn, but that is not what happens here. Finch is going to go to Salamence here. That would have been instantly killed by the Ice Beam, but he didn't go for it, and Finch is going to outpredict him and get rewarded. Hidden Power Grass from what seems to be a mixed mance is going to kill the Swampert despite the two Combine boosts. And Pogus falls behind. Finch now with the 6-5 to five advantage gets Blissey in on the Ice Punch from Gengar. No boom. Here's Skarm. Great prediction there with Fire Blast. Insta melts it with a crit. Finch is dominating Pogus here with the aid of some hacks, to be fair. But making great predictions as well and really dunking on Pogis here. Now the Rock Slide does get the kill on Zapdos. But there is the Dug Trio that I thought was very obviously going to be there. And there is the Revenge Kill. So we now have ourselves a 5-3. to three. Unreveals on both sides. Two for Finch, one for Pogis. Make that one each as Finch goes to his Swampert here. Fairly standard TSS for both players. A little bit of variance but nothing too wild from either guy. Failed Protect from Finch as Celebi sneaks in. We've seen four of the moves. Don't know its attack move. If it has an attack move, CM Recover, BP, and X. X might be Psychic or HP Grass. Nope, it is Leech Seed, but he misses that. And Rock Slide misses for Finch as well, so a do-nothing turn. Leech Seed connects now, and so does Rock Slide, 53%. Selby can simply recover that off, however, but he has to be careful about the Doug Trio. He's not careful about Dougie. He recovers anyway, and he might be dead here if we're looking at an Adam and Doug, which it looks like we are. Selby going to get eaten, and Pogis in shambles with only two pokes left against the five from Finchinator. Agility from Moltres going for the sweep. If the Blissey were gone, he would have a shot. But it is not gone, and I don't think the Moltres can possibly get through the Blissey here. I believe Podris is in deep trouble. Uh, the only way is if the Gengar somehow explodes on the Bliss, and then the Moltres sets up another agility and proceeds to sweep. But at 8%, that seems virtually impossible at this point. Does get the Flamethrower off on Mence, but there's nothing you could do about Blissey here. Even a critical hit Flamethrower would not be enough. I believe that Finchinator has this in the bag, and Pogis is dead in the water. But we continue to go through the motions. Pogis does not concede. This is for his tournament life. If he loses this game, which it looks to me like he's almost certainly going to, he will be eliminated. Here is the Gengar. There's really nothing he can do at this point. He can't even get up with something like Hypnosis because it's already burnt. Just going to go for the explosion as a formality. Does take out the Bliss, but it's nowhere near enough. Three pokes remaining for Finch. Going to stand tall. This one is fairly one-sided. Finch is going to take it down. And Pogis, I mean, great player. But he is going to be eliminated from this tournament in round four. A 2-2 record, totally respectable, especially given the caliber of the field. But he is not going to make cash money in this tour. Finch lives to fight another day, and Pogis will be out. 
And that's all I got for you guys. They only played the two sets on the Saturday, so tomorrow, Sunday, there's going to be quite a bit of action. I'm going to have my work cut out for me. I will try to get as many of the games done in a timely fashion as I can and bring them to you guys, but it sucks when there are so many of them in one day. It's hard to keep up with it all. In the meantime, if you guys enjoyed it and if you've been enjoying this tour as an in general, please do give me a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment if you've got something to say, and I will see you guys tomorrow with more Permasand Invitational.